hi guys welcome back to my channel well this time I want to make a video about level sorting markers in this video I will also share a few tips on how to use markers so keep watching this video alright let's start with Marcus's talent Marcus has the shadow abilities at his best level Heavy Somersault is a shadow attack using Marcus's giant sword and Harpoon using his ranged weapon. Marcus has two unique talents, namely Troop the Glitch which can overcome the shortcomings of his slow movement so that his attacks will be a little faster. An unstoppable talent that will give him invisibility. In addition, we can still choose 10 more talents to maximize Marcus's abilities. Well, at level 2, in my opinion, the best talent you should choose is General's Luck because this talent will allow Marcus's attacks to break his opponent's block. This talent is very useful against camper or defensive player. At level 4, you can choose Shadow Lord or Legion's Hero. These two talents are great because they give Marcus the invisible and you can adapt it to your fighting style. If you are an aggressive fighter type, I think Shadow Lord is more stable for you and this talent can be relied on to fight Helga who has smite and repentance talent. And conversely, Legion's hero will be more suitable for fighters who defend more often in the attack. At level 6, Lasting Invisibility is more suitable for defensive fighters and Explosive Will is more suitable for aggressive fighters. Well, if you like to make shadow attack combos when fighting, Rift Talent at level 8 is the most suitable for you. But in my opinion, healing invisibility will be more useful because you can restore your health with this talent. And at level 10, I recommend you to choose the all-consuming chaos talent because this talent will make through the glitch active from the start of the fight. In my opinion, Absolute Control is less useful because Marcus's invisible time is very short. This talent does not give much advantage when fighting, especially if Marcus fights Cat and Azuma. This talent is almost useless because Marcus will have a hard time getting into his shadow form if he fights these two heroes. But this talent might come in handy if you choose a legend hero talent at level 4. And in one condition, your opponent is a shadow ability user. However, even if your opponent uses a hero who can use shadow abilities, if your opponent chooses not to use his shadow abilities when fighting, this talent will be trash. So that's why I don't recommend this talent. Now, let's talk about Marcus's weapons. By far, Marcus is the hero with the most weapons in Shadow Fight Arena. Apparently, this one hero got special attention from the developer, right? Marcus has a special weapon called Shadow Razor which can provide additional shadow energy. Memorian which can burn opponents with a heavy attack. Precept of the Legion which provides a protection. And the latest is Onyx, which can provide additional damage in through the glitch mode. In my opinion, Onyx is the best weapon here. But unfortunately, I don't have this weapon yet. So, in this video, I will use Percept of the Legion only. Marcus is weak or strong against whom? Okay. The first point to determine whether Marcus is weak or strong depends on the talent you choose. If you choose Shadow Lord, you will be strong against Helga and weak against Cat. If you choose Legion's Hero, you will be strong against Fight Guard, Cat, and all the heroes who have Shadow abilities. But you will be weak against Helga and other heroes who don't rely on Shadow abilities. And then. Weak or strong Marcus depends on the attack range and attack speed of his opponent. I think Marcus will be stronger against heroes with short attack range like Fireguard and Ironclad, 
and Marcus will be weak against heroes who have high attack speed and long attack range like Ling, Jet, and the others. But the most important point of all this is how good you master Marcus and how great the opponent you are fighting. Well, if you wanna master Marcus, make sure you watch this whole video. Marcus's move set. Now we will talk about Marcus's move set. This is Marcus's basic attack. This attack is the fastest attack that Marcus has when compared to Marcus's other attacks. This attack is suitable for cross combat, perfect for stopping your opponent's spam attacks. Besides that, you can also use basic kick or spinning kick in this situation. If your opponent is doing jump kicks or aerial attacks a lot, you can use upper attack or upper kick to stop them. If your opponent is a camper, the most effective attack against them is a heavy attack. And thanks to General Slug Talent, if this talent is active during this heavy attack, it will be a painful hit to that damn camper. Nice. Well, the spinning attack is an attack that's suitable for stopping or repelling an aggressive opponent. Low attack is suitable for dispelling opponents who rely on their low attack speed, such as Midnight, Links, and others. When you enter the shadow form, you must pay attention to certain conditions for the shadow attack to be effective. Before doing a shadow attack, make sure you have dropped your opponent to the ground, then attack him with Harpoon to trap him. When your opponent is caught by this Harpoon, the next attack you can use his Heavy Summer Soul. Use Rift to end the shadow attack combo so the opponent will fall to the ground. This Rift will provide a chance for you to create the next additional attack. This is the best shadow attack combo you can do. Try it and good luck.
Ah! <laughs> 